Hey man, say man, welcome back to another episode of Scrooge Media TV, man. But look, before I get started with the topic today, man, look, I just bought this beanie from Bucky. So I had left my work beanie at home, man, by accident. So don't clown me and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But I had to get a beanie. It's like 40 degrees out here in the Houston area. So, but that's irrelevant though. So I want to talk about today about hip hop, the rap game, and um. Why the rap game sounds like so um, repetitive. So for starters, this this is this is not a video about oh the new rap game sucks and all that type of stuff. Cause I used to be one of those guys like years ago back in like 2015, 2016. I wouldn't even jam new shit unless it was probably like Mozzie, you know YG, Kendrick Lamar, you know artists in Houston like Propane, Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying, you know and a couple more artists and shit. I can't. Think them off the top of my head and shit like that, but I used to be one of those guys who like, man, fuck the new generation. Then the new generation ain't making no good music, but it is some good music out there. You just gotta kind of maneuver and you know what I'm saying. Just keep your ears, you know, to the internet and to the um, you know what I'm saying, to the blogs like Say Cheese, my platform. You know, Stay Down Productions. Um, you know, networking the streets, Two Two Trill TV, Thizzler out there on the West Coast. Um, LA Hood Media. Um, I mean, there's so many platforms, Spliff D, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just keep keep your eyes and peel to those type of platforms. But anyway, the reason why hip hop is repetitive today, or like everybody kind of sounds the same, is because, really, because of the internet. If we're going to be honest, because of the internet. So, music back in the day, especially like hip hop's golden age, like the 90s, you know what I'm saying? I mean, some people say the 80s, but I say it's the 90s because that's when I felt like hip hop. In certain regions develop their sound like for example like you got houston you know what i'm saying we all know the ghetto boys you know what i'm saying it was other groups like the convicts three two and big mike um it was so many groups out there in houston but we all know the screwed up sound in houston is really back in those days was houston sound but the point i'm making is different regions had their their, their own sound like you had New Orleans, Louisiana, know what I'm saying? Like the whole state was on that hot boy shit. That's, you know what I'm saying? That soldier, that soldier type of lifestyle that they was living in Louisiana and, you know what I'm saying? Like parts of like, you know, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, shit like that. So they had their sound. And then you have Florida, you know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot what they call it, but you know, you know what I'm saying? They had that booty shaking music, you know what I'm saying? Fast paced music, stuff like that. Um, Memphis, you know what I'm saying? They, they had crunk. It probably wasn't called crunk back in those days, but they had crunk music, you know what I'm saying? They was making them low, dark, fire, you know what I'm saying? Type of sounds, you know what I'm saying? So Memphis had that, you know what I'm saying? They also had crunk. And, 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 and believe it or not, Memphis did start crunk. I know people say Atlanta, but Memphis started crunk. They probably didn't call it crunk. But they started that type of sound. But Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, they went to another level with it and they actually crowned their music crunk. You know what I'm saying? But it did start at Memphis, wanna make that clear. And I don't know where the word crunk came from because people in Houston were saying that people all over the country were saying crunk. But but if we're talking about music, Memphis started crunk as far as like the sound and you know what I'm saying, them type of chants and shit like that. But Atlanta took it to another level. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know what I'm saying, to keep going. New York had the boom bap, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, what people call the typical, you know what I'm saying, rap, you know what I'm saying, the West Coast had that gangster shit, you know what I'm saying, that G-Funk, which is basically just like a sub-genre of P-Funk, you know what I'm saying, because they was heavily influenced with that, so the reason why hip-hop sounds so repetitive, you know, to kind of get back on the point is that, like I said, the internet, back in those days, you was mainly kind of exposed to what was in your region, you know what I'm saying? Now, of course, if you had cable and all that shit or regular TV, you would see videos and you would hear music from other places or you go to your local record store and stuff like that, buy vinyl tapes and CDs, you know what I'm saying? You would be exposed to other people's music, but for the most part, you was mainly exposed to music in your region. And so that's why Houston and other places like Cali, Sac Sacramento, LA, the Bay, you know what I'm saying? New York, all that type of stuff, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, you know what I'm saying, other places, they were exposed to their type of music. And that's why music back in those days, if you was from Houston, you either you either was gonna sound like what Rap A Lot had got going on, or you would sound like SUC, Screwed Up Click or Swisher House, you know what I'm saying? Even though they came a little bit later, but you would sound like that because that's that 
those sounds were the hottest sounds in Houston or in that region and stuff like that. So that's why music now is so repetitive because now we're exposed to music all over the country because of the internet. So if you're from Houston and your favorite rapper from Chicago, you know what I'm saying, your favorite rapper is Lil Durk, whoever from up there, you know what I'm saying, nine times out of 10, you're gonna try to pattern your sound off after that. Cause I remember when I first started rapping when Chief Keith and them came out around, well they been out, but when they blew up around 2011, 2012, when we started rapping, me and my partners, we wanted to sound like them. We started using their beats and shit. I mean, of course we was talking about Houston shit, but our beats was basically their beats. We will go to YouTube and type in Chicago type beats, Chief Keef type beats, cause we felt like shit, that's what's hot. We gonna use that. So it's, it's no different if you from Houston and you hear your favorite rapper is Mozzie, you gonna try to pattern your style after that, or you gonna try to pick beats that those guys rap on, you know what I'm saying? So that's why the game sounds repetitive. Now, it's a gift and a curse. It's a, it's a gift because you can kind of, if people already like what you like, it's easier to kind of gravitate to those people. But it's also harder because, um, it's also harder because now, People start to compare you to somebody. Oh, you sound like Lil Durk. Oh, you sound like C. Keith. Oh, you sound like this person. You sound like that person. And they put you in the box. So it's really a gift and a curse. You know what I'm saying? It's really no right or wrong or stuff like that. But that's why the game sounds so, so repetitive because people from, like I said, from Houston, they favorite rapper might not be from Houston. They favorite rapper might be from Atlanta. They might love Young Thug, Future, whoever from over there. You know what I'm saying? Or they might love somebody from New Orleans, so, Lil Soldier Slim or Rob 49. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody from Florida. You know what I'm saying? Kodak. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the game sounds so repetitive because we able, cause we are exposed to music all over the country and not just your hometown, your home state. So back in the day, that's why that's why if you came to Houston, you would only you would mainly get that Houston sound. As you see, Switch the House, yeah, you had other artists that wasn't doing that type of music, but that's mainly what you would hear. What Rapper I was doing, or Suave House, or as you see. A switch house. I mean, you had other labels too, but for the most part, those sounds is what dominated the Houston music scene back in those days. So we really wasn't exposed to other people's music constantly. You know what I'm saying? When you walked out your door, you heard a school tape. You heard the Ghetto Boys. You know what I'm saying? You heard uh, A Ball MJG, Mr. Mike. You know what I'm saying? You heard those type of artists and many other. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to leave nobody out, but I can't think of their names off the top of my head. So vice versa, it's like being from LA. Walk out the door, you hearing Dre, Ice Cube, MC Ren, you know what I'm saying? The Relatives, you know what I'm saying? Dub C, Max 10, you know what I'm saying? The list goes on. South Central Cartel, or you go to Sacramento, you hearing Sibo, Hollow Tip, you know what I'm saying? Lunacic, you know what I'm saying? Or you go to the bay, you hear Mac Dre, JT the Bigger Figure, you know what I'm saying? E40, you know, the list goes on. So that's why music now is so repetitive because, like I said, we all exposed to sounds all over the country and, and and most people now they they gonna do what's popular you know what i'm saying they not gonna try to be be unique oh, okay i want to be unique most people are gonna try to follow the trend because they feel like okay well if they made it off that type of sound that type of trend then i'm gonna make it too now like i said i'm not saying it's right or wrong don't take what i'm saying like i'm saying the rap game now sucks because i like a lot of it you know what i'm saying like i still jam my old music as you see fat pet greatest rapper of all time from the h you know what i'm saying ice cube this goes on, but I do like the new music as well, you know what I'm saying? Not all of it, but I do like a lot of it. So that's why the rap game is really just kind of repetitive, man, because everybody is going to gravitate to what's hot. If you listen to artists now, a lot of artists using that type of, um, they using um, in Houston, well, I'm going to speak for Houston, I can't speak for nobody else, but a lot of artists in Houston, they either going to do that Ice World Vezo type of sound, which I think is hard, you know what I'm saying? Or they gonna do that trap, the typical trap shit from Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, you know? And all that, or they, or they gonna do that California shit, or that Detroit shit too, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about the Ice for Vezo sound, but more like that Sada Baby sound, where they gonna do what Mozzie doing, you know what I'm saying? So, the game now, bro, it's like people, you know what I'm saying, we can't really, it really ain't gonna be too much creativity and too much unique type of sounds these days, like I said, so. I just wanted to get on here and talk about why the rap game is kind of repetitive now. Like I said, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, good or bad. 
it's your opinion. Whatever you think it is, it's going to be your opinion. I'm just coming on here speaking my opinion why I think the rap game is repetitive. You know, like I said, because everybody exposed to multiple sounds and most people are going to go look at what's hot. They're not going to look at, oh, I'm from Houston. I'm going to make Houston type of content or I'm going to stick to what Houston is. People are going to gravitate to what's hot. And, and like I said, nothing is wrong with that. But at the same time, it could be a gift and a curse as well, man. Because like I said, people will put you in a box. Oh, you sound like Lil Durk. Oh, you sound like Future. Oh, you sound like Mozzie. Oh, you sound like this person. They put you in a box. And once people, it, it, once the fans put you in a box, it's kind of hard to get out of that. So that's why I say, you know, I feel like the rap game, people need to be a little bit more creative. You know what I'm saying? And um, especially the up and come artists. Like if you are in the game and you made it, you forever going to have a fan base. But if you knew it up and come, it's okay to be a... It's okay to be fans of people, but try to be very unique instead of, oh, I oh I hear a little Dirk song. I'm going to try to do that type of little Dirk song, you know what I'm saying? And and, and basic copycat, because like I said, people going to put you in a box and say, oh, I mean, you sound like him. Oh, you trying to sound like him. Ah, oh, you will knock off this type of person. So, but like I said, I was just trying to get on here and just talk about this, man. Appreciate y'all, man. I got more content coming soon, man, for the show, man. One love.